The Inara is a digital version of the paper Nara currency issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria. It's not a cryptocurrency, as cryptocurrencies are banned in Nigeria in spite of their popularity. Central bank digital currencies are issued and regulated by the central bank, while the others are out of government control. So how does it work? Let's say you want to send 100 Naira to your cousin Miriam. She lives in a remote village without a bank branch. So usually you would buy mobile phone recharge cards of that value, load them to your phone and text your cousin. Miriam will then go to any phone card retailer and discount her 100 Naira mobile phone credit for 95 Naira. With the eNaira, instead of buying phone credits, you will debit your bank account for 100 Naira, convert to eNaira, and transfer it to your cousin Miriam. She can spend the funds directly from her phone or transfer and get cash. Also, the eNaira is built on a blockchain technology, which means you cannot have a duplicate or fake eNaira. What are the advantages? The Inara is expected to bring in a majority of Nigerians who have no bank account but have a mobile phone into the formal financial economy. With the Inara, payments for salaries, goods and services can be concluded. It means plumbers can accept payments on their phone and make transactions with any vendor. What's more, soon a trader dealing with a bank in Burkina Faso will also be able to settle their import bills from the Gambia using Inara. But there are still some risks. The eNaira is online, and so the risk of malicious actors attempting to hack or gain access to the data still exists. Next in a race, Ghana will be trying ECD from October 2021.